One of the tricks I've learned while trying to import multiple line item invoices has to do with auto-populating the invoice ID. What you'll see here is anytime you have an invoice that has the same number, its invoice ID number will also be exactly the same. So for me to import this next line, I need that to match as well. For, so the best way I've found to accomplish this and be able to process all the invoices through one uh, sweep is by adding formulas into the mix. Um, for example, in this situation, if we use if, an if function, we can basically say if the value here is equal to the value here, then I would like the value in this cell to be equal to this value also. So if I take this away, you'll see it changes. So if it's not the same, it doesn't populate anything. So we'll go 1025, so it matches. And what this will do is makes it so when we come in, we'll actually do both of these here. We'll go to C data now, and we will insert these rows. It will automatically populate the correct invoice ID number allowing it to be added to the prior invoice created. Then when it goes to the next item, it will actually populate that with a brand new number instead. Go into QuickBooks Desktop, we look at this invoice, we'll see that we get the multiple line items presented. Thanks for watching our video today. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And if you like this video, Hit that subscribe button so we know and we'll keep making more content just like this. And as always, here's wishing you a very successful week.